Yo, what's good guys? It's your boy Sean and um, we got an interesting video. Interesting video. Um, <clears throat> so a buddy of mine sent me this video and says there's uh, that I need to react to it that there's a 32 year old man that won't leave mama's house and they have to basically call the cops to get this guy removed. <laughs> well, I don't know, dude. I, I never find anything like that. Like, why? Like, obviously, we'll find out the situation, but why? You're a 32-year-old what, man? 32-year-old 32 32 man refuses to leave mama's house. Really? Let's get into it, guys. I'm, I'm curious to see what's going on. Make sure you guys are hitting that subscribe button. And, uh, and if you enjoy this video, let me know. If you have any other requests, you guys can send them to me. There's links in the bio. Um, but other than that, man, I said, let's just jump into it and let's see what we got going on. The dog, what now? Oh, oh. Hey, how you I'm all right, sir. How are you? Look, one of the things I do know, guys, is that, I mean, it's going to take more than some paperwork. So if that's all you got, dude, you're going to have to come up with something else. I already know that. And, you know, I mean, we'll get back into the video because, I, I mean, every cop, every situation is different. But um, I just know if they start asking for you to prove where you stay, you're going to have more than just paperwork. Like, you got to have, you know, show them where you sleep, show your bed, show, you, you know, your room, your area. Like, you've been living there. But uh, I I don't know. We'll see how this turns out. Where did you get the, uh, the you just show me kind of what he did. She sound like a sweet old woman too, bro. My hair, baby. So. I don't know about y'all, but I'm really confused at this point. <clears throat> I guess son's in and out of jail. Just shows up whenever. Goes in there. She tells him to leave. He starts destroying the room, kicking the room, throwing shit everywhere. She told him to leave. He he refused to leave, so they called the cops. Um, where, where are you guys I'm trying to go to church, sir. Yeah, sure. Tell her to show you her name also. Okay. I'm going to talk to y'all one at a time, okay, oh, Mr. Man, Simmons? Her name ain't on that. Okay. You're, you're, Listen, you're right off the bat, though, I do want to say... I do want to say this, though, man. Big kudos to the cop so far, man. He's being real patient. Uh, seems like he has a pretty decent attitude. Uh, a lot more better than a lot of other cops we've seen. Um, so, very patient. And, um, seems like the police officer has a nice attitude. Dead, lady. Okay. How can a dead lady bar me that raised me? Mr. Come on, man. Now he just pissed me off, bro. I, I sat outside. Yeah. Come on, man. Uh, he's also tell me you you say you live here. Yeah. What's your proof that you live here? I just showed him. No, no. So like, 
It's not paperwork. So it, that doesn't matter. That doesn't become a registry. Y'all remember what I said? If, y'all remember what I said earlier about that paperwork ain't gonna matter if you can't prove that you actually live here, that you sleep in here. They ain't gonna take that paperwork. So, so that doesn't. So who has the right to say we leave? So how much? How much? Right. How much stuff do you have here? I have my clothes. Like what? Bags. What do you mean? About three times she done threw like, four, five bags of clothes away, shoes and all. So like what? Away. What do you? Don't buy me nothing. So wait, 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 wait. You're, you're circling my question. How much clothes? A, a trash bag. You have a trash bag here yeah. currently. Nah, clothes, bro. That's it. Yeah, shoes and shoes. my hygiene, my boss, my socks, all my stuff. That's like living out of a do you have it, like a, a bag, bro. Where? In the room in there. Okay. Can you show me? <clears throat> Okay. Why are you running on me like that? No, I'm, I'm just following you. I don't know where we're going. I'm, I'm not. I don't. I don't know where we're going. First of all, lesson number one, and you guys have heard me say this before, especially the couple of last videos of the college kids and stuff acting crazy with the cops. And, and we'll get more into this towards the end, but what? It just drives me crazy, bro. Ninety-nine percent of the reason why people get locked up is because they don't comply or they're just freaking rude as hell to the police. Okay, listen, not all the cops are always going to be nice or not always going to be respectful to you. And as much as you want to rile up on them, you know they're holding the power to take you to jail. Not Listen, every for all my experience, every time I was an asshole, I was in more trouble. If I was trying to be cool and calm and collect, most of the time, the cops was chill with me. You start, what you run up upon me for? You start, you already giving cop attitude, man. He's probably already in his mind ready to lock your ass up. Crazy. Did you say in the kids' room? That sounds like. Yeah, wait, wait. That's her husband. That ain't your room, man. This is all you got? Yeah, bro. Come on, okay. Man. She, 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 so, she get so this is not enough for you to say that you live How somewhere. I didn't that in. No, that's all I got. That's like a suitcase. She keeps throwing it away, though. Okay, so. Come on, man. That's all I got. Okay, well, this doesn't look like this would be a room for you. This doesn't look like it. It don't matter. This is where I'm no. at, bro. You but mean? you can't say you live here. How I can't? Because you don't have enough stuff to prove it. Man, I don't give a damn. I like to do why this all I got, bro. Okay, well, I'm telling you, that's not enough. So, she's going to want to borrow you from the property? Man, she can't borrow me for nothing, ho. Okay. And that's fine. You just but, lock me up, dog. I'm not. I mean, I'm just this is all I got. She threw all my stuff away, bro. Okay. Come on, man. When did she throw it away? Multiple times. Okay, and then why weren't we For what? called? Why, why were y'all called? Yeah. I don't know. Well, I mean, if you're the victim of a crime of being, or your property being thrown away and destroyed, uh, you, you why didn't he call us? Because I don't do that. You need Miss Simpson. Okay. They just hooked. Yeah. She ain't barred. Oh, you don't do that. I say it. Okay. See, her name ain't no name. Her name ain't no name. Y'all ain't just check me, bro. Okay. Man, nah, cause y'all, I feel like y'all on some bullshit. Oh, we're not. Oh, we're, yeah, I, every time I, that ain't enough code. That's not. Come on, man. I ain't got shit. I ain't gonna text you, bro. Oh, damn. That door is not attached. Her name, she need to go there. That's what her name is. Okay, so if you don't, if you live here, why does your address on your license come back to Nelly B. Avenue? Because I've been had license. Been had license since so, I was like 18. Okay. And I'm clear that it says, it says that... Why they took my license for? When I was in prison. For nothing. Tell me I ain't show the court. Come on, bro. So, I can't. I'm in prison. So, just for information... They've been doing this, bullshit to me, bro. This doesn't prove that you live no, here. No, it don't, bro. It shows you my I, address right It shows right. that you're using this address. That's my address, address. No, it shows you my address. That's my address. But you have no physical... I mail here. Okay, so that doesn't matter. I'm not stupid. That doesn't, don't matter. That doesn't determine residency. I understand what you're you saying. You get you can get mail at two four two four I, I, I North Avenue. I understand what you're saying, but yeah. it's the same thing for her as well. Well, she's got enough stuff here to that don't mean make it look she, like she lives here. That don't mean nothing. That's my stuff. That's all I got. Okay. And that's all. I, I can't get that because of her. I'm just trying to go to Johnson and everything. She won't help. Bro, we feel what you're saying, man. All you got is a bag of clothes, right? Maybe that's all you have. Maybe the dude's broke and poor and he just don't have none. He's been in that in jail, right? I can see that. But the problem is, man, you don't have enough stuff established at that house to show that you actually live there. If you showed, look, you know what I would do? And I'll make this quick. I would literally walk up to the fridge and be like, look, there's my drinks. There's my sodas. There's my coffee. Over here is my bed. This is my blanket. This is my pillow. This is where I sleep. This is where my clothes are. Look, this is where my dirty clothes is, where I've been washing clothes. 
And he's not doing that because he he doesn't live there. He stays there maybe once or twice. A, he probably stays there once in a while. That's it. He doesn't really live there. Because if he did, he'd have a whole lot more shit to prove. That's what they're trying to say. <clears throat> a bag of clothes in the corner isn't showing me that you live here. Oh, bless you for nothing. Okay. Is she in the oh, back, back bedroom? I ain't going nowhere. I'm going to you, you keep throwing them demands, homeboy. You're gonna be going to jail. Oh, okay. She wants some. Why you think she in the shower? Shit. Why you think I'm just telling you what I, what I observe, because he don't matter, but it, it's my seat. It does because it's my seat. If somebody, my it does My room right there. You're, that's not your. That's room. your room. Why you gonna send me where I sleep at? Because it don't matter. That's why I sleep at. Okay, when the when other sister said, what do you do, honey? You go in there, right, so I can sleep in the bed. Yes, she do. She, she go in there for some reason. I don't know why she's getting so, on the floor, but I understand why so she's going to try to have so the this is very simple. Y'all hear what he just said, though? He just kind of told on himself. He said, what, what do y'all do whenever I come here and sleep? You go in the other room. So he just, I mean, really, if they would have been paying attention to that, and he would have paid attention, he really kind of just told on himself. He just made it obvious that I don't really stay here, but the days that I do come here and stay, they go to the other room and I crash in here. Man, they, they would have caught that. This should have been over with. So, Mr. Sam, this is very simple, man. We're just here for a bar. I ain't finna keep bar. So, no, wait, 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 safe for me. So that doesn't come out. So you, you not believe that you live here? Man, how the fuck I don't believe I live here, man? You so, pissing me off, bro. And that's fine. <laughs> I just fuck out. And no. I'm yeah, out. I, I was called here for a legal purpose. I'm here doing a legal duty. So, I'm getting hit on. What? I'm getting hit on. What does that mean? I'm getting hit. What does that mean? Like I just said, you don't understand? She hit on me. Why is she? How is she? What does that mean to you? Why is she hit on me? When? And hit me with, with, with weapons. When? To, um, bulldoze me in the Bruh, back. Bruh, what are you doing? You just, that man just asked you literally freaking 10 minutes ago. Look, if you're a victim of a crime, why don't you call us? And what'd he say? What'd he say, y'all? Oh, I don't do that. I don't call police. Now he over here snitching like a motherfucker. <laughs> Bro, you over here snitching. You snitching on mama. <laughs> she over here hitting me. what that mean? She hit me. what that mean? <laughs> Bro, you snitching on your mom, bro. What? I'm getting hit on. What does that mean? I'm getting hit. What does that mean? Like I just said, you don't understand? She hit on me. Why is she? How is she? What does that mean? She's pushing the hit on me. When? And hit me with, with, with weapons. When? To, with uh, a weapon? She pulled those me in the bathroom. I moved out of the way and she fell in the tub. Uh, so why has officers been here at least 30 minutes? I move out of the way. You ain't finna hurt me either. Man, so, it's a lesson. So why has officers been here about 30 minutes? This is the first time anybody's been here. Been here about 30 minutes. Uh, boy, cool. So, so you might want to talk to me here. Oh, yes, sir, sir. Come out. I'm sorry, I'm gonna get far from y'all. So, who is she to you? Dante is my old I'm right here. I'm sorry. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. You can tell right she now. been, listen, I, you can tell she used to this type of dumb shit because she's over there taking showers, getting dressed, ready to go to church, while the cops just walking around dealing with this goofy. <laughs> it's crazy. She said, I gotta go to church. Okay, well, I, I don't trust him. That's fine. Yeah, but what did you want? Say this to my son. He what? Uh, Who's he to you? Not aggressive. my son. Yeah. Hi, hi, everything. Tom, he didn't call you. Hey, look. I want to hear too. Okay, well. I, I don't trust him. That's fine, he's but. Seated. What did you want? He what? Say this to my son. So, who's he to you? He's seated. I'm sorry. He's fine. He's fine. I get it. It's high, it's high emotion. Hi, hi, everything. Tom, he didn't call you. I want to hear too. Okay, well. I don't trust him. That's fine, but. What did you want? So, who's he to you? Yes, your son. How long is, has he not aggressive, been? but aggressive? Talk. I don't know. Well, 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 okay. So, when was the last time he lived here? Years ago. Okay. Does he have any stuff here? 
He don't he, take it. Now I ain't gonna lie, he keep it. I keep it close. Right. He got no way to close. Talking about the trash bag and clothes. Yes. Now okay. I ain't gonna lie, these clothes. Damn, okay. cause he don't got nowhere to put his clothes. Okay. So I keep it close. The only way he got in the gate today, cause he called me. He said, "Can you let me? In? I'm going in and out. Come and change my clothes. I'm coming in and get my clothes. Yeah, but how she tell me so? I'm talking. I'm talking to you. Can you step out? Eighteen. It like it like it like. Okay. Oh, this is exactly. Okay. Come on. I'm talking to her, am I talking to you? Or for two years, you can't return. Oh, yes, sir, yes. You go on for two years until you get mad. This is how you get help. Pay attention. You better get full now. Listen, listen, you pay attention. You are ball for two years until you get mad. Yeah, mom. Let me the streets. Well, you bring yourself because you look at the damn seat. See, you're already kicking shit. You're getting raises like this. Want to damage my stuff? Yeah. See, Philly? I'm not going to tell anything. So your options are, Mr. Sims, are either A, you can leave and not get any criminal charges pressed against you, if you refuse to leave since you've been already... You want to lock me up anyway, because y'all know how I am. But you can leave right now and not get locked up. That's what you trying to do, huh? You can leave so you don't get locked up. Oh, look, man, that's fine. White boy. That's fine. You ain't no dirty white boy. That's fine. You a white boy. Okay. Pussy white boy. So look, I'm just giving you your options, man. Pussy ass white boy. You can, you can leave. So look. You can leave and not get any charges. Now go to jail. If you refuse to leave, you've already been. Well, why she ain't so she, 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 she lives here. I do too. So you've already been formally oh, notified that you've been barred. If you refuse to leave, you will go to jail for criminal trespass. So look, you can take me and call my granddaddy. Mr. Sam. What? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. You done said too much now, bro. <laughs> My man said, y'all just step back because he ain't finna take me. And he unzipped his shit like he ready to go. And he's like, I'm about to call my granddad. <laughs> oh, my God. This dude is a trip. If you refuse to leave, you will go to jail for criminal trespass. So, look. You need to take me now. And call my granddad. <laughs> the one who owns the property. So, she know I ain't got nowhere to go. She ain't got nowhere to go. I'm going to church. See, mama, see what I'm talking about, mom. I'm leaving, bro. Put your hands behind the back. All right, bro. I'm leaving, bro. Right, bro. Leaving, bro. Now's the time to stop. Before you catch multiple fucking charges. I'm leaving, though. I got to get my shit. Somebody breaking my arm, huh? Mom. You just gotta bend your arm. Hold on, get my phone, mama. I'm getting hold my phone. I'm on the side. Man, I ain't right now locking you Pull up, right no, on, bro. Yeah. Put your hands back. I'm getting it on, bro. You got it. You are. Put your hands back. Hold yeah, on, let me get hold my phone. No. Nope. Double cuff. See, that was not trying to keep my feet. Man, mama, you just look at me. Right here, right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Come on. Why y'all ain't doing that about that? Because you ain't got no Still snitching, bro. She called. I want to press charge about that. Why that ain't happening? Couple. Put your hands behind your back. We can talk about it. Why are you locking me up then when I say I'm leaving? Put your hands behind your back. Come on, man. 1095, I've been Get the help. Get the help, man. Now, get on my phone. I got it. Get the help. Get off. Get off my phone. I don't want hey, no. I want hey, back. Hey, no, man. Get my stuff. They want to get through it. Ah, stop. Oh, my God, bro. Accident. You locking me up for someone I'm saying, Hey, come on, man. Quick. Just walk. Why are you on my phone? Mom, get my phone. Man, fuck that phone. Damn, bro. God almighty. It's always the same thing. It's always something. Get my phone. Get my phone. Do this or do that. Like, fucking dude, shut up. Comply. Walk the hell outside. Get to the bottom of the situation, dude. The moment, the moment he said that you were barred, and he said you had a choice. You could leave or you could go to jail. Either leave or go to jail. And you stayed. And then you want to fucking... You want to resist. Oh! 
When is people going to start understanding that's what makes charges, that's what puts your ass in jail, that's what makes the judge get tired of looking at your face and put your ass in prison? I Man, he probably went to prison over this dumb shit. 10, 12, 10, 6. Exactly, it don't make no damn sense. What you taking that for? It's your stuff, right? You wouldn't let me get it, so why you grab it? Because it's yours. I was finna get it, but you wouldn't let me. You trying to lock me up. No, not at all. Yes, you won't. Okay. Do you want it or not? Man, fuck that bag. I'll leave that shit there. Why are you breathing so hard, man? It wasn't that much of a struggle. It was three of y'all against him. Man, you breathing like you ain't... Come on, bro. It wasn't that damn exhausting. Where are they from? Athens Kirk? Jail. Criminal <laughs> trespass. You going to jail, bro. Homie going to jail. Man, you could have been walking down the damn road and called granddad. Charges, man. Out of all that dumb shit, he got ended up getting criminal trespass. MISD obstruction of Leo. I don't even know what the heck the MISD is. Um resistant or something i don't know but you just got out of prison now you got these two more charges on you man god i get aggravated y'all i really do man i get i get irritated because the simple fact is man you know i don't like seeing people go to prison i don't want to see nobody going to jail i'd rather everybody go home have a good night you know or, or maybe just walk away from the situation <clears throat> but um it's just crazy that most people do this to themselves, right? You, you guys got to admit, these cops went in there and they were as nice as they could be. I mean, they were respectful. They were nice. They were patient. They gave this guy multiple, multiple warnings. I've seen cops going, I mean, they could have went in there right away and then snatched him up, but they didn't. And then the fact when, I mean, after he didn't leave and they were like, hey, put your hands behind your back. And then he went crazy. Just because the cops put you in cuffs, remember this, guys. They didn't even, I mean, honestly, I, they didn't even read his rights at that point. You know what I mean? Because they were too busy fighting. But if they would have just, you know, put him in cuffs, they could have literally, he could have walked out respectfully, calmly, got to the car, and pleaded with the officer and been like, look, first of all, I apologize for my attitude. I've, I've been upset. I'm being barred from the house. I had nowhere to go. Can I just call my granddad and I'll leave? You know what I'm saying? There's been so many other opportunities, other options rather than fighting the police. Stop fighting the police. But you're not going to win. <laughs> you're not going to win. You might beat the hell out of one. You may get what you call, I might get one or two, but you're not going to win in the end. Make sure you guys are subscribing, and uh, if there's any other videos that you want to see, uh, let me know. And remember, there's three things in life that's going to help you become successful, and you will always get to the next level. And that is if you keep fighting, keep grinding, and never give up. I'm going to say those again. Keep fighting, keep grinding, and never give up. You do those three things, guys, and I promise you, you're going to get to the next level. All right? Do the right thing in life. You know, we all, nobody's perfect. The guy had a bad day. He's had a bad run. Who knows whose fault it is? Life is life, man. But we make our own decisions. We control the outcome. Just because you're in a bad situation doesn't mean your life has got to be bad. You know what I mean? That bad situation could have turned into something better, you know? Um, you know, could have called granddad. Could have called a friend to come get you. Could have left. Could have just chilled out and cooled out. You know, sometimes we just have to take responsibility for us. And we just have to kind of just do what it takes to become a better person. Um, I just hope that he becomes... I, I personally hope that the man gets help and um, does what he has to do and has a better life. Um, same thing with me, man. I had, to, I had to grow up. I had to become a man and do the right thing and, and quit running the streets and quit being that type of person. And... And just do the right thing to, to become the person that I am today. And you just got to work hard and do what you got to do, man. So with that said, guys, have a blessed night. And uh, we'll see you on the next one, guys. Peace out.